Oh hell yeah! Welcome to Ranger Reviews, where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 30th episode of the show Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, as well as the 323rd episode overall, titled To the Tenth Power. We begin this episode on another planet, where a cloaked figure speaks another language meeting Deviat. Deviat has a key, opening a box from the cloaked figure, and it's the data cards from the Psycho Rangers. Remember those? The guy ends up trying to portray Deviat, but he just blows him up. Alright. On the Scorpion Stinger, Deviat is explained to Trakina, Villamax, and Kegler that he reprogrammed these guys to be stronger and better. They weren't destroyed, just digitized. He puts the cards into a digital reanimator and he presses a button. During the waxing and waning of lights, five color-coded figures appear and in the sparks of light we see that the Psycho Rangers have returned. Back on that planet, another cloaked figure finds the aftermath of what had happened. He says that he's too late. Drakina is talking to the Psycho Rangers, telling them what they need to do as she says. And she says green and yellow are the first targets, but Psycho Blue disagrees. Then Deviat flips a switch, electrocuting the Psychos. Dun dun dun. Now that that's settled, Trakina wants to talk about what their plan is. On Terra Venture, Maya and Damon are walking with groceries and a Psycho Ranger hand comes up grabbing Damon who trips knocking over groceries. Maya goes to get a tomato and Psycho Yellow comes through the ground taking her. Damon then asks what happened and he goes to get a tomato when a bike just runs over. Ooh, suspense. Just kidding, Psycho Black is behind him and he grabs Damon disappearing. I guess black and green are kind of interchangeable for him. We cut to Kai fighting Psycho Blue and Kendrix fighting Psycho Pink. I guess Jakina's plan was different than she had originally said. Kendrix and Kai are pushed back. They try to morph, but they're kidnapped before they can do anything. Leo is training by himself in the forest and he turns into a full-fledged Japanese man with a wig on. He then hears sniffing near him and he looks around seeing a little boy. He walks over cautiously. He asks if he's okay, and he says he's okay, but you're not. Then the little boy tosses him into a tree, standing up, and he turns into Psycho Red. Alright, that was cool, but kind of weird. Leo gets hit back pretty hard by Psycho Red, and he gets an opportunity to go galactic. Psycho Red fires on him, and he tries to take out his Quasar Saber, but Psycho Red pushes it back into his holster before tossing him through the air. This is a badass fight, but then Leo gets demorphed after hitting a tree. Leo asks who he is, and Psycho Red introduces himself with a head spin. Nice. He comes closer, but here comes the cloaked figure, kicking him back. The figure takes out an Astro Blaster, firing at Psycho Red, and he and Leo run away. Wow, guess who? Psycho Red is pissed. They get away, and Leo thanks him. He takes down his hood to reveal he's Andros, and Leo knows immediately who he is. He was there on the day of the Countdown of Destruction. But he has no idea who Psycho Red is? Whatever, Andros says that he's pretty much cooler than you, so we need to go. On the mega ship, Mike is there with Alpha, and Andros walks in, and Alpha's so excited about this. I know Alpha, I get it. Andros says they have to worry about the other rangers, and Mike introduces himself. Decca says that she's locking on unusual frequencies. It's in the Industrial Dome. They want to leave, and Andros says they need to think of something. He asks if the power vault is still sealed. Then they go there to go open it up. He goes to a keypad opening a vault, and Decca says that the temperature is returning to normal. What temperature was it at? He opens it, revealing the five astro morphers on color-coded pipes. Andros goes in, getting his morpher and putting it back on. They have to surprise them somehow, so they start to talk. In a warehouse, Trakina is mocking the rangers while she's with Villamax, Deviat, and the Psycho Rangers. She says that the Psychos are everything that was promised to her, which is good, and Deviat thanks her. But then a big explosion happens behind them. Here comes Leo morphed through the explosion. Trakina says he's right on time, but then there's Andros, also morphed. Psycho Red is pissed. Jakina is stoked because if she gets to kill two rangers, she'll be famous. The Psycho Rangers get ready to fight, charging forward, and Leo and Andros run away. Now it's the two Reds versus the five Psychos. In the power vault, we see someone open the door again. Alpha's walking around and he notices that the door was closed before, and we see hands take the other four Astromorphers, and Alpha is excited. I am too. Mike shows up, firing at the Stingwingers, and then also this contraption, freeing the rangers from the invisible force field. The two red rangers are pushed back, but the other rangers come running, and they talk smack to Psycho Red, who says that the seven of them don't stand a chance. Andrew says there might only be seven of them, but they can still take care of the Psychos. Then TJ yells, how about eleven of us? One too many. It's called to the tenth power. Also, Carlos, Ashley, and Cassie are here. Carlos has short hair now. The others go galactic and it's a pose fest with colorful explosions. Jokina's like, screw you guys, and she sends the psychos forward, and the rangers group off in color-coded fashion, so first we get to see the reds together, and Leo gets kicked pretty hard at this point. I love these fights. I mean, Andros does an off-the-wall backflip. Pinks are together, and Kendrick slashes Psycho Pink real good. We then see the blues are doing pretty good from the jump. Kai does a wrestling move though, which is weird. Carlos and Damon are together, so I guess that's fine. 
Damon really kicks the crap out of Psycho Black. We see the yellows who are doing some good work against the Psycho. Also, Mike is fighting Deviat and Villamax. Deviat isn't much of a fighter though, but there's a lot of little explosions during this fight. The Psychos regroup as all 11 Rangers come running up. The Galaxy Rangers activate the Lights of Orion, and Andros calls out the Spiral Astro Blaster while the others do the Quadro Blaster. They both fire on the Psychos before the Galaxy Rangers go power up mode, zooming through the Psychos, blowing them up in a beautiful fashion. Thanks for absolutely nothing, Mike. Deviat is pissed that the Psychos are dead. Later, in the mega ship, all 11 unmorphed rangers come in and they talk about how they missed Alpha. Carlos says that Alpha sent out a distress signal to get the others to come there. They didn't have their morphers though. They want a tour of the Terra Venture though, and Maya volunteers to lead the tour. Girl, you have no idea where anything is. You've been here for like a day. In the wreckage from the Psycho Ranger destruction, we pan across to find out that Psycho Pink is somehow still alive, now sporting her broken visor again. She reaches toward Deviat as he walks toward her. He kicks her over, saying that she disappointed him, but now he's carrying her body over his shoulder as he walks away, saying that she will annihilate anyone and anything that comes in her way. To be continued. This episode just plain kicks ass. It's really great to see the Psycho Rangers come back, and it's awesome to see the five Space Rangers return. Kinda sucks that we didn't get to see Zane again, but Zane kind of also sucked as a character, so I guess I'm not too disappointed. This made me realize how much I missed the in space cast, though, because I just haven't really felt the really strong bond with the Lost Galaxy crew at all. The in space cast gives me warm and fuzzy feelings a lot because I knew who those guys were. The Lost Galaxy guys, eh, not so much. The story isn't done yet though. How will Psycho Pink do something that's historical in Power Rangers lore? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.